Hi everyone, let's talk market stats. It's after the 15th, so we've got all of our statistics in and I wanted to kind of share with you where the market is currently. Um, every month has been a little bit different. Uh, this year, just to start out, it's been a little unusual because our June was actually slower than what we've seen in the past, but we're expecting July to pick up. So um, what I've learned in the last couple of years is that I don't know anything anymore that has been historic in the past because the historical part kind of went out the door and we're living in the moment. So with that, let me share the current stats and talk a little bit to that. So total sales is down about 9% over last year this time. The average sales price is still no change and that's 395,524. Pricing is still holding pretty steady. Um, the median price has gone down a little and that's by 6%, that's 32950. But again, I am not seeing massive drops in prices at all. I am seeing some slight negotiation and again, in some areas of town, there are multiple offers still happening. We're just not seeing that 10 to 15 offers. So it is very specific to areas of town on some of the statistics that I provide you. That's why it's so important to have a professional review this with you on what's going on in your zip code and in your neighborhood. Um, close to original list price. Now, what does original list price for that mean? That means the price you started out on the market at before you dropped the price. And that's at 95%. Once you get to the right price, I will tell you it's less than 3%. And for some of us that know a little bit better on how to price a home, then it's even less than 3% and sometimes it's over 100%. Uh, days on market, still hanging around 64, 65 days. Uh, that's not very long on market, but it is a vast difference from last year. Uh, but that's still selling pretty quickly and we are still in a seller's market. We're holding at about 3.7 months of inventory. And remember a balanced market is when we get to that five to six months. So we're edging a little closer to that, but we haven't hit that number anywhere close yet. And I am seeing that three to three and a half kind of volley back and forth and we're up to about 3.7 right now. Now the, for those of you that have rentals, uh, the average rental price now is $1,926. I will tell you on the rental side of the business, we have starting to see that soften just a little as because those are gaining on the market some too. We used to have an extreme shortage of what was available on the market. And now we're seeing uh, homes sitting longer on the rental market as well. Uh, still in short supply, just taking longer to get them leased out. Uh, new listings are down 14%, which means that's why we still have a shortage of homes. Um, active listings is up and pending listings is down. Again, the last 30 days, it seemed that it slowed down just a little bit. Uh, we're looking at the market makeup. Under 200,000 is 9% of our market. That means we are not affordable anymore under 500, uh, or excuse me, between uh, 200 to 499, we're at 71% of the market, which is a large share of what San Antonio is. And when we're over 500,000, this is where the biggest gains we've seen in the last few years, we're talking about 20% of the market. Now, we used to think over 500 was luxury. That's really starting at about 750, 800 nowadays. Um, so that's some basic statistics about where the market is at the moment. Uh, just wanted to let you know that price per square foot uh, is at 183. That is a 4% decrease from this time last year. Again, not a huge decrease at all. Um, so I think that's really important to note. 
And overall, the market is still robust. The biggest thing that people are having to understand is that it takes a little time to sell now versus uh, last year. So you have to plan accordingly. If you wanna get it sold by a certain date, you've gotta work that calendar backwards because most closings take 30 to 45 days. So remember to equate for that in your uh, planning and know that time does need to be factored in. I'm Missy Stegers, broker owner of M Stegers Realty Partners and team leader of the Missy Stegers team, bringing you the market update for July. Thanks for joining me.